Hi everyone, Anne Bound from Said With Love and welcome back to the Barn Star Sampler So Along. We have been having such a ball doing this. There are so many wonderful blocks in here. I'm enjoying each one of them. We have gotten to the smaller blocks. So today I'm going to show you my two blocks from month six from June and also show you a picture of, and hopefully a video, we'll see if I can get it all in one video, of all my blocks laid out on the lounge design floor. <laughs> it's the only space that's big enough. So let's get to the reveal. Month six is the Moroccan star block and this month I tried to do a darker background just to have a little bit of a difference throughout my quilt and I love it so much I'm going to do a few more. So without further ado, here is the Moroccan star in my greens and golds, maybe even a citrusy kind of colour. Um, the tiny stripe that I picked to go in there I think looks fantastic and gives such a pop to this block and I love my fussy cut lion and this is the darker grey, this is the uh, fairy flakes from Everglow or came out with Everglow and I just think this one is, is looking fantastic so very very happy with that one. Uh, I'll give you a closer, closer up view as well maybe. And so the second block I did in purples. If you remember, I was picking my elephant for the center. <laughs> and again, I've used the darker gray um, purpley color from the Fairy Flakes. And I fussy cut my elephant in the center. I am loving this one. So let's give you a nice close-up view as well. So here is the video I took of my design floor in the lounge. <laughs> I still couldn't get it into one video, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how I'm starting to lay things out. Wow, this pasta sampler is going to be huge. I'm on the design lounge floor this time and here are all my blocks so far. Now I haven't got them in the exact same spot as the book. I've sort of swapped things around so where something was supposed to be one of the big blocks, the 24 inch blocks, I've swapped that and moved it to another spot and things so I've kept the sizing of the block in the same place but I've tweaked things a little bit. And this is just giving me a fantastic opportunity to see the blocks all together. I can't even get them on my video. I can't get back far enough or up high enough. <laughs> but I'll do a, another photo and see whether we can get it all in one. Still got quite a few holes, I'm surprised. But uh, month seven is about to get added to this. So I'll show you that next month. And here is a picture of it as well, just to give you a more of a static shot to see where things are going. And as you can see, I sort of tweaked where things are in the layout. So where uh, Cora in her original one has perhaps put, um, you know, block one, I've moved it to another position, still where the same size is. So I'm not going to change the, the layout as such, but um, it might be that, you know, I've got a block one up here instead of down there etc so I have enjoyed playing with that and as you can see I'm starting to try and get a little bit of sort of more the greens in the top left coming down to sort of more the purples going through the pinks in the middle but the purples down the bottom so that's then given me a much clearer picture of what colors I need to pick for which blocks that are coming up and I can't wait to get into all those little small blocks because they are just going to go by in a, in a flash so Thank you for joining us for the reveal and join us next week for the tips and tricks for month seven.